Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 10. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button please. Well, last episode we were finishing up plowing our second new field. And so off screen I did that and got things cleaned up and then I proceeded to make the next episode and I could have swore I hit the record button but we didn't get it so you will see some improvement over the last episode I've been working on this uh, open area just before the corner back there. Trying to make a new clearing to use. I have an idea what for. If I time it right and hit the button to unstrap them then all the logs will slide back and then I can sell them. Except for these little guys and then I gotta shove them in. Uh, his, he's up against that post. Pick him up. Pick him up. There you go. Sure be nice if there was a different way to do that. I know it's supposed to be for a crane there hasn't been a crane for console players so anyway we do what we must So yes, just behind or just past this corner here is where I've been clearing, taking out the pines, getting ready for uh, for something. Don't want to spoil it yet. I think I'm gonna leave those nasty trees I think they'll fit good right here just by themselves but we will park this over here and then I'll go show you what we did get it ready for the next load up If you missed the first episode when I purchased the weight, I use a 3,300 kilogram Fent, I believe it is, weight. Biggest one I could find to counterbalance. Okay, so on your left you will see a new field. And it's green already. That is our field with... What did we put in there? We put barley or wheat? Uh, we did not plant weeds. We put wheat in there. We got weeds. Darn it. I suppose the other one's got weeds too. You can see that crop is up. And over here we have corn and weeds. 
I do have them 100% fertilized. I got that done during the last missing episode. That still upsets me. But So we need to get a sprayer. We need to spray these because they're too... Plants are too tall. I've been chopping trees all day. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This one will let me hold more and then I can get that little tank on the front if I need even more. And I think this one multiplies out that you get the most for the dollar, so we'll go with that. And because I have plants past first growth stage, I need narrows. Let's put that three point hitch back on there. There we go. Standard, wide weights, wee weights, narrow twins, narrow... There we go. And I don't know why I left that on the uh, regular engine, but... Oh well. This front weight. That's why we needed that three point hitch. A little counterbalance. It looks like my grass is almost ready to mow again. And I haven't used the first mowing up yet. Narrows on this tractor remind me of the old car in Cars. Well, we'll have a little left over to come back and get later. About 800 pounds, 800 liters. open this up I'm gonna run a test I'm gonna do this field in wheat and then I'm gonna do it again in barley and I'm gonna see which one gives the most 
straw. I think you get a higher yield out of the barley than you do the wheat for grain. Oh, I hate that bad spot in the field. Yes, I've got a number that says that barley is ever so slightly higher yield than wheat, so... Oh, look at that, you can see the weed line where it's dead on the right and still green right where I'm going. We're letting the helper drive though. We just help him steer at the end. And I still got to get that grass picked up that didn't get swathed. That was my cheerleader that did that mowing. But I didn't tell her. That's my fault. So I got a reply, or I'm sorry, a message, uh, a comment that my reappearing deadfall logs can also be ground up with the grinder that you pull on the tractor. So I'm going to have to run a test on that as well and see if we can prove whether that gets rid of a log for permanent or not. I have to remember to keep coming over here on the right side of the field to start because when a worker comes back the sheep pen disrupts him. And you can see now that we're driving by here that the spot that I have set open for the pig enclosure and you can see that our dollar amount is up to 300,000 so we are good to pay when they get it installed we don't have to worry about getting yelled at for not having the cash ready guess I need to trim out another tree or not let weeds grow or get a shorter boom come on get it all there you go almost looked like it didn't start spraying in time Ah, well. Calling it good. I'm not going back. Doesn't sound like me, does it? I noticed we had uh, a little bit of wool over there. place is starting to look respectable, isn't it? It looks
looks looks inhabited now. And we'll back this one in this open slot. I'm not real good about putting stuff away all the time. I gotta work on that. And I always drop my weight right on the corner pad, right up by the post. So hopefully it's out of the way and I won't hit it. And I know right where to look for it. That's just my little spot I do it. Oh yeah, I gotta get up here and get rid of these skinny tires. Yep, everything's got two fertilization stages. Oh, I did miss some weeds up on that one corner of the corn. Oh well. Put the three-point hitch back on. Twin wheels. And come on, let's make it a big engine. Did I pay for a big engine? No, I didn't. Two fourteen. Yep, 214 it is. We'll have to pay for an upgrade sometime. Not right now. We're making do. So anyway, that's that's what all of the missing episode did. The cultivating, the planting, the purchasing of equipment, and I didn't record any of it. Arr. Oh well. What are you going to do? Okay, well, I have got some more tree cutting to do. And I will make a time lapse. Because you've seen me cut wood before. I like this little processor. The description of the processor says that it does not process large trees but I have not found a pine tree that it will not harvest so they've they're either tweaked it or it's broken but either way don't fix it I don't know what I want to do for trees here what oh I hit a tall tree bye bye tall tree Okay, anyway, I'm going to make a time lapse of this, so enjoy.
Okay, well, it is 5 o'clock, just a little over. I think that's enough wood cutting for one day. I think it's time to go home and put my feet up and have an adult beverage. So we'll just hit... Oh, what's that? Oh, somebody's waving at me. We'll see what they want. Well, hot diggity. They just gave me good news. They said that they have built our pig enclosure. While we were out chopping down trees and hauling them away. So, yeah, I got some shopping to do. I need to buy a truck. Where's the little guy? There he is, 60,000. And we'll put a racing stripe and a hitch. There we go. Yeah, yeah. And we need an animal trailer. I want the best animal trailer for pigs and sheep. 24, 21. What's the next one? Ooh, 36, 38. I'm not worried about cows. And that's too small. We want the Wilson. Nothing to add to it. It is what it is. All right. We got us a shiny new trailer and a goofy, loud looking 60s tractor it is time for us to buy some piggies can't wait to see this ooh this little truck's fast. 49. We're going to hit 49 on this straightaway. Ooh, nice cab. Ooh, drive off the road. 7, 48, 49. We 
Can you see it yet? Oh, there it is. New piggy house. Right there. Nice. Yeah. Oopsie. As soon as I started cranking the wheel, I knew that was too tight. Swing them trailers. And I'm still too tight. Yeah, I'm stuck. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. I wonder how much they cost. Oh shoot, we've only got $15,000. Um, that didn't work backing up, did it? Stop talking and watch where I'm backing. Um, yeah, so if they're a thousand five hundred apiece and we get, um, oh shoot, yeah, we're going to spend fifty, sixty, well, that's going to bring us to the end of another episode. We're going to have to get our piggies next episode. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would sure appreciate it. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.